In this video we're going to give you kind of an overview of the LG AWS software and do a full walkthrough kind of front to back of uh, a new patient order. So I'm not going to hit on every single tool that we see along the way but I'm just going to give you a good idea of how this software flows and the, basic, um, the basics of it all. And if you want to dig deeper into anything, there's other videos on our website, or you can ask us any questions if, uh, if you have them. Or if you ever want to schedule a, a web demonstration with one of our uh, with tech support people, just give our office a holler, and we'll be happy to schedule that for you. But right now what we're looking at is the main work list screen in the LG AWS software. And you can see here these are all the patients who are completed. If you were hooked to a modality work list with your uh, practice management system or your EMR, there would be more um, studies showing on here that would not be completed. They'd be waiting to be completed. They'd be either suspended or not started. So what we'll do is just sort of show you the way to do a manual patient entry since we're not co connected to an EMR. This will be a lot different if the, uh, the orders are coming from the EMR. We wouldn't have to do any of this. Uh, we're putting in the patient demo demographics they would all be in here for us but we just put in the family name the given name put in their birth date male female other study description let's just say foot referring physicians this is a learning field so as you come along and you put more doctor names into here it'll just um, build that for you so you don't have to keep typing them in you can put in the operator's name, any kind of comments, history, visitor comments that you want to put in. If you want to capture what time you're doing this, you can do that as well. So we'll just click Next, and we'll go to Lower Extremities. So you can either choose it off this list, or you can click off the, uh, the anatom over here at the side. So we'll just choose a foot, and we'll say AP and a lateral. If I wanted to do any other you know views or body parts I can easily do that and add them in as well we can make this as long as we want as many as many exams as you want to add them in you click them or to take them off you click the right on them and they'll just come right off this list so if we wanted to start doing head chest you know spine work anything we want we could add and make a giant exam as big as you like but for now we'll just go like this and says start so this is our exposure screen. So as we see across here, if we did want to add in anything else, we'd be right back at this screen here. Uh, that's how you would add more views into this uh, into this study. So we've got our foot AP and our foot lateral markers. Um, if you if you need to use lead markers and you don't need to use digital markers, it's completely up to what your um, what your state guidelines are. So we'll just say we'll do a, a digital marker at the top left and then we say save condition and now that'll show up in the image we'll turn on auto collimation that's a good thing to have um, all these other things are sort of defaulted and they should be just left as they are unless you've got a great reason to change them so because we're using a demo software we don't have a generator hooked up uh, there's no generator present in this environment that I'm in but if uh, if you were in a generator or if you were in a live environment this uh, indicator up here is the ready status and normally when the panels turned on and it's connected and all these other things are green this ready status would show uh, like a yellow like an amber color which means that the panel is ready for receiving x-ray and because it is a uh, an auto detecting detector it's going to be on and then it just senses the x-ray and captures the image and then <clears throat> excuse me um, ends the exposure so because we're in demo environment, I have to invoke an x-ray with a button over here. So I'll click the ready button. And then your image is up in just a matter of seconds. So we can see this fuchsia border here. Now this is the suggested collimation. If I like this collimation, I can just double click on it and it'll do that for me. If I wanted to make it more tight, I could just select the, uh, the shutter button over here. Choose the rectangle. And then I can double click inside of that and it'll change the shuttering for me and then it moves that digital marker into the new shuttered part of the image for me as well some simple tools um, that I'll go over real quickly things that are very basic um, there's tools that are sort of uh, embedded into your mouse which is kind of nice so you got window leveling panning and zooming 
these all correspond with your mouse button so if I click on my right mouse button I can window and level I can you know, change the, the brightness and the contrast of this image now if I use the mouse wheel and roll it forward now I'm zooming in and now if I use my left mouse click I'm panning and as I pan you can see down here as I pan that it's showing me where I am in this image which is helpful when you're in you know uh, a, a larger uh, body part and you're trying to just determine where you might be if you're really zoomed in a lot so it's kind of a nice little thing if I click the reset button this will reset this image back to its original presentation state so no marker no collimation nothing so I would be starting over it's a helpful tool if you find that you've um, just kind of window and leveled too much or put markings all over something and it just doesn't seem like you've gotten it back to where you wanted it to be it's just a nice way to, to reset things we got the ability to do some free text and you can move that around change the font size whatever you like if you want to get rid of it get rid of it um, you can do flipping rotating you can uh, invert the image there's a lot of different little tools to play with if you want to see it in a larger format we can click on the uh, the expanded button and now you see that all the different tools that are normally hidden in tab 1 and tab 2 are now available completely you can see them all so that's just a nice uh, a nice viewer inside of this software we can also do a little bit of image processing on the fly with the image preset so if we hit this with DR medium we should notice just a slight change in the image um, if we really wanted to see more detail we could say hard strong and then you can notice that there's a noticeable difference in the way the image was processed just now so as you begin to use this software and you find what um, presets you like for different body parts you can just sort of uh, fine-tune images if you like image stitching is also included in the software no extra charge you can stitch up to four different images uh, into one single image and there's a video on how to do that on the website as well and then you also have the ability to send images off to uh, a PAX or another DICOM destination you can either send a single image which would be this button and right here is our, our list of destinations or PAX you could have any number of PAX in here any number of DICOM destinations you want to send to and you can send off a single image or if you wanted to send off all your images you can see over here you just would click on accept all suspended images and you can choose where they would go and you could click send you can also export them to a USB drive and you just would say accept all these suspended images you can see the information that's included it's a 16-bit lossless conversion we say export so now it's showing me where it's going to go it's going to go to the desktop and we got a folder already called exported images so we'll select that folder and let's take a look at what we got so we'll minimize this we'll go to our exported images and Kim Smith is who we just were working with so you can see we got a, a number of different files in this folder so if you sort them by the type you've got an application, a DICOM application here you've got some JPEGs which these would just open up in whatever uh, image viewer application Windows was providing to you uh, on your computer it's a static image you can't really do anything with it it's just uh, a smaller format that other people could open up on their PCs uh, what you'd really want to look at if you wanted to you know export this to a USB and bring it somewhere else this is more of a DICOM viewer, a very very simple one but uh, it does offer you the ability to do uh, window and leveling and then you can also zoom and pan in this thing so if you look at the directory over here to the side you'll see you've got the different images they're all here and you can uh, and you can manipulate each one of them in a very simplistic DICOM viewer so that's that's part of the export process so if we hop back into the software if you're burning CDs or DVDs it's the same exact process of what we just went through with the USB you would select them all all these different uh, criteria are done we hit export 
and at this point you'd be seeing a, a CD burning dialog and if I click on the burn button the uh, the CD ROM tray pops out of the PC and you put in a disk and you hit burn and then uh, you're on your way and you've got a uh, you've got a, a disk with all the images just like we saw with the USB export if you're printing images you've got the ability to print to a DICOM printer as well as a paper printer so if you're printing images open up the dialog box select which images you want to print click the print button and uh, and away you go so that's sort of the long and the short of acquiring the images and some of the simple tools um, you've got some lines and measurements up here very simple stuff nothing too advanced um, most of the time the packs viewers are going to include the you know the measurement tools and the functionality you're looking for especially if you're doing sort of specialty measurements for orthopedics chiropractic veg you know, veterinary podiatry things like that this is mainly an acquire viewer to uh, to get your image so once we're happy with everything and we've we've taken a look at all the different images we say end review and when we end review we can see over here there's Kim Smith if I click on this button I'll be able to see we did those three images now there's two indicators that are very important to see the green means that we've accepted the image the blue arrow means that it was sent off to our pack successfully so those are both good things if we were hung up for some reason and this blue arrow wasn't here we could go into the DICOM queue and we could see you know if there's a problem so right now we see all successes we don't have any uh, anything hung up nothing's failed nothing like that so you'd see different statuses standby in progress success fail and uh, you can sort this list by that so that's a nice way to check but that's uh, that's the basics of order entry and uh, the, the exam process in the LG AWS software